a laptop and a small desk are all Natalia Vietrova, founder of the non-profit called Ukraine Vole Foundation, needs to help her fellow Ukrainians. A sustainable fashion expert before the war, she now dedicates her time to helping Ukrainian children deal with war-related trauma. Her journey started at a pro-Ukraine rally in the U.S. When I was at one of the rallies, I just realized I was at the wrong place. My desire to be with my people, with Ukrainians, was stronger than the desire to help from here. So one morning I woke up and told my husband I'm going. I got a ticket and two days later packed my backpack and went. After an initial trip, she returned to Washington with a plan. She raised some funds and headed back to Lviv. Two months later, she'd managed to equip a center for the internally displaced in Lviv. She made sure dozens of families had enough clothing, food and attention. But soon she realized the people she cared for needed more than physical things. The most important thing for me are children. My soft spot. At the time, no one was talking about war-related trauma. So I started this conversation and people said, what are you talking about? There is no food, no clothing, hardly any beds, and you're talking about some psychological help. The program she set up was devised by clinical psychologists skilled at helping children cope with all kinds of trauma, from natural disasters to violent crime and war. The program uses games as a way for adults to communicate with children about their trauma and allow them to get past it. A year into the war, Vetrova says she is seeing delayed trauma starting to show up. Natalia is looking for help everywhere, including from Ukraine's first lady. We should meet with Olena Zelenska. We need the government's support. She was one of the first to start talking about Ukrainian children's psychological state, not just children, but everyone affected. All Ukrainians are traumatized. How can mom or dad help their kid if they themselves are traumatized? Today, Vietrova is planning her next trip to Ukraine, where she will bring warm clothes for the children and new methods to provide psychological help. She, like millions of others, can't wait for the war to be over, though she plans to keep offering help long after it ends. For Mikhail Komodovsky in Washington, NRIs, VOA News.